Uh, my name is David Frakes and I'm an assistant professor at the School of Biological and Health Systems Engineering uh, and also the School of Electrical, Computer and Energy Engineering at Arizona State University. Uh, I'm the PI of the Image Processing Applications Laboratory here at ASU uh, and we use uh, the Flow Coach and HemaFlow systems both in our research program uh, and also in curriculum that are developed uh, and delivered here in the uh, undergraduate design facility at ASU. So we purchased HemoFlow uh, and FlowCoach um, to interface directly with our undergraduate bioengineering curriculum uh, where we focus on medical device design and testing. We've been using uh, HemoFlow and FlowCoach for nearly three years now, um, primarily in education but also in uh, several phases of research here at ASU. We've incorporated the Flow Coach and HemaFlow systems into our curriculum in several ways. Uh, most notably, we use them in our BME 300 uh, level class, which is an undergraduate engineering design method course. Uh, it focuses on medical device design and testing. Uh, and in that course, we take students all the way from designing models of blood vessels uh, to putting medical devices in those blood vessel models and testing them. Uh, so the course begins with uh, uh, tutorials in SOLIDWORKS and other software programs um, to create idealized blood vessel models in virtual form. Um, we then move on to using mimics for Materialize uh, to create um, anatomical blood vessel models from real patient data. Um, and the students then simulate flows in those models uh, using the computational tools that are bundled with FlowCoach and HemoFlow. Um, and then finally move on to building physical models, putting real medical devices in them, and then testing the effects that those medical devices have uh, using the FlowCoach and HemoFlow particle image velocimetry platforms. Uh, rapid prototyping plays a, a critical role in our curriculum and it, uh, it interfaces quite well with the uh, flow coach and hemoflow systems because uh, we can reconstruct geometries from uh, any patient data set from CT or MRI uh, or even angio um, and using those data we can then rapid prototype a blood vessel model, recast transparent material around that and then plug that material directly into our flow coach system. Um, the exciting thing about that for our students is that they're able to go all the way from medical image data to doing a medical device test using a real patient geometry. Uh, so rapid prototyping gives us uh, the vehicle that we need to get from patient data that's reconstructed in virtual form to a physical model that we can put into the HemaFlow and FlowCoach systems um, to then be used with real medical devices. Uh, the response to, to HemaFlow and FlowCoach uh, has been amazing. Uh, the students, first of all, they really enjoy getting to do something that's hands-on. Um, many medical device curricula uh, will involve components of design um, and hypothetical design scenarios, but um, because the students have these systems in our courses, they're able to take real medical devices, they're able to put them into models of blood vessels that have come from real patients, and then they're able to test firsthand and really measure how fluid dynamics have changed as a result of treating the blood vessel. Um, that experience for them has been invaluable because um, they're not just doing uh, math on paper um, and they're not just uh, designing uh, hypothetical um, devices to, to treat a patient. They're getting to work with the real thing uh, and do a real hands-on uh, start-to-finish exercise uh, in designing a device, validating it, and verifying that it works. I would absolutely recommend the HemoFlow and FlowCoach systems to other institutions. Uh, again, the response we've had here from using these systems has been outstanding. Um, and for uh, any other educators who, uh, who view this video, I'd also be happy to share any of the curriculum materials that we've developed here to facilitate using FlowCoach and HemoFlow uh, in new courses that they might be interested in developing.